In this video, I will compare Apollo.io versus Lasha and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your business. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one I would pick depending on what exactly you're looking for. So first, let's go over what Lasha does. So you can see they'll help you find and close your next customer. So it's a B2B sales platform and under why Lasha, you can see some of their capabilities. So you have prospecting, buyer intelligence, so you can target buyers based on intent data. You can engage with leads, so you can send them emails. You have recommendations, enrichment, API, an extension where you can find prospects on LinkedIn and pretty much anywhere else on the web. It integrates with other tools and you will get actionable insights. So you have signals and alerts. Comparing this to Apollo.io, it is a little bit different. You can see on their platform right here, you have B2B prospecting data, which Lasha also has. So that's basically a database of a bunch of people where you can get both their email and phone number. Then you have multi-channel outreach, AI assistance, done for you outbound. But on top of that, you also have a meeting scheduler, pre-meeting insights, a call recorder, automated meeting follow-up, and it also works as a CRM. So it basically covers the entire B2B sales process. Now, one major difference that I want to mention is again that Losha has the Chrome extension, which you can use on, for example, LinkedIn to find people's emails and phone numbers. So if you want to have the ability to go onto LinkedIn and search for a profile and then find the email or phone number for that specific person's profile, then you want to go and pick Losha, although there are also other separate tools that will do this, but it is going to be very helpful to have that all inside of this one platform. So besides that, who should pick Apollo and who should pick Losha? I think it's important to look at their pricing when making that decision. So right here, you can see if you pay monthly, there is a free plan for one seat where it gets 70 credits per month. And with these credits to show an email address for a prospect, it costs one credit and a phone number costs 10. Now this is the same on Apollo, except for a mobile phone number is only five credits. So the email address is also one. So if you do want to find mobile phone numbers and be able to call people, then Apollo.io will cost much less credits to do that. However, the cost per credit is also higher on Lasha. So even if you only want to do the emails, then Apollo.io will still be cheaper. So let's just go off of their most popular plan, which is premium at $79.90 per month. The upside of Lasha is that here five seats are already included but you will only get 1000 credits, although you can also get more. So for example, 5000 credits will already be $399 per month. And there you will be able to find 5000 emails or 500 phone numbers or a mix of that. Comparing this to Apollo.io's pricing, Apollo also has a free plan and with monthly billing, you can see right here, here you will get 100 credits per user per month. And again, you can see a phone number only costs five credits. So again, let's go off of the most popular plan, which is professional right here at $99 per user per month. And for that price, you will get 10,000 credits per user per month, which is a lot more for a lot less than you get on Lasha. So here you get half the credits for four times the price, but you do again get more seats. But still, if you calculate, for example, if you want to buy four seats on Apollo.io, you will be paying the same price, but you have eight times the amount of credits and the credits are worth more because the phone numbers cost less. So Apollo.io is more price effective. You will also get a US dialer in Apollo, automated workflows. It has a bunch of AI features. And overall, in my opinion, there's only one scenario in which I would pick Lasha. And that is if you want to have that LinkedIn extension that plugs right into your sales platform. So if that is very important to you, being able to find emails and phone numbers for people you find on LinkedIn, then I would go with Lasha. If that is not something that is very important to you, but rather the price savings and the rest of the platform, then I would go with Apollo since overall, I think Apollo is a more complete B2B sales platform that again covers the entire process. 
Now, if you would like to get started with either Apollo or Lucia, I'll leave links to both of them down in the description, where you can just sign up to their free plans and use it for as long as you like to try it out for free, and you won't have to enter any payment details, so it will take you to these pages right here. So that concludes this comparison of Apollo versus Lucia. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.